Do you have a mental illness? Me? I'm, bro, you know what? Because you said that, I'm cutting, bro. No, 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 no I, I genuinely... No, cause bro, I, what do you mean, bro? Man's been talking gems. No, cause I, I've been talking diamonds, bro. I've been telling you about life, yeah. about the world, no, about just profit. Wanna know. Are you actually leaving? Was a good thing. Are you actually leaving? Bro, you man, I'm even booky, bro. What do you mean <laughs> mental? You want me to start becoming mental right now? You know what? You're lucky man's in a good mood today. All right, my bad. How's your relationship with your family? Like, did you grow up with your family? Are you still close to them? Bro, I'll be real with you. Like, the family is very dangerous. Like, for example, do one little mistake here and then you're finished, bro. But since you talked about, like, people not speaking up, right now there's a situation in Israel and Palestine. Is this something you've talked about already? Who is oppressed in the world? If it's a Jewish, Muslim, Christian, if I see someone getting oppressed and I don't speak out, God's gonna punish me. I've been crying so much, just bursting out of tears when I see the video of these children. In London City right now. We're here. We're here, bro. We're are here. you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, bro. What, what are you doing? No, nah, no, nah, I'm just uh, basically... I think he has something are you for us. Are you preparing <laughs> questions for us? You got notes and everything. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I, I woke up in the morning and I was like, bro, I gotta say something as well, like, because I've said so much things in my life. I've talked for thousands of hours. True. So I don't like repeating the same things. So I want to start off the podcast with saying um, there's a lot of real stuff we're going to discuss in today's episode. Yeah. But I don't want to get straight into it. You know, we're in a situation in the world right now, um, which we will talk about. But I just want to start off, you know, easy. So how are you doing, my brother? Well, amazing. I thank God, you know, so much that I just gives me everything. He's giving me everything. Yeah, he's giving me more than a lot of people. So I'm just so grateful to that for that. And yeah, hopefully I don't go to hell for not using it in the right way. Because if you, God gives you something, you gotta use it. Now I want to start off by saying um, you're known online a lot. Yeah. Like you're kind of like a a menace. Con controversial. You're very controversial. Yeah. Is yeah. that something like you you try to be or like? Basically, like, everyone's got a madness in them. That's, if you're on the right path, you got to have a bit of madness. You can't be normal because you can't, you just can't. It's too much madness. Like, you have to be, you have to be willing to sacrifice for for God, innit? So yeah. you have to do a madness for the people because you have to, if you don't do a madness, you're not going to get nowhere. Yeah. You have to, it's the fire inside you. That fire, I've got this, I don't know, it's just, it's like I think it's from the, the the life before this life, which is the the life of the souls. <laughs> the life before the this life. life. Before yeah, basically life. we were all souls, and then before God created us, and He asked, He said, um, He said to the believers, jump in the fire, and then the ones that jumped in the fire have got a madness in them. The ones that didn't jump in the fire, didn't listen to God. They're all, they're cold. Now I want to say, obviously yeah. you're really religious, you know. Uh, no, right. I don't think I am because I, I do bad bad things as well. Okay, so, like I'm I'm kind of like. I'll say it's normal. Like, I'm just say I'm just say I'm the worst person. No, but you do speak I'm the worst person. a lot about religion, and you come forward. And yeah, you, I have you know? to because if I don't, then we're gonna get destroyed. Okay. You have to talk because there's a hadith that says if you don't talk, then the evil. If you don't talk against evil and talk good, the evil people will control and and and, and smash you up. And then even when you pray. They won't get answered. They will control you. Now, so you have to. Before we get yeah. onto all of this, I just want to say first of all for my viewers that don't know you. Yeah. Who is Modine? Yeah. And what's your story? Because I really, I, I've, I've seen you all over the internet causing problems, but yeah, like, right. how was your upbringing? Bro, like, I'm a humble guy. I pray in that. Uh, I help people. I saved a lot of people through, through God because I helped, sent me to save uh, thousands of people. I've saved people from suicide. I've saved people from, you know, I'm saying, the, uh, I've saved people from depression. I've saved people from uh, hurting themselves. I've saved the thousands and I've got the evidence for that and people can tell you that. And I've helped people pray, like, and this all from God, but it's because I speak in it and I don't stay silent, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's what... But what was your upbringing like? like upbringing is like, uh, it was like uh, just seeing bare fakes and snakes, do you know what I'm saying? And yeah. and, 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 and and like I said, but you, you might see someone today, you might see someone who you think is the worst person, but then they'll speak out for the truth. And there's someone that's praying every day in the front line in the mosque. Mm. Yeah, he's shutting his mouth like a little coward, like a little waste man. And then who's God's, who does God love? The guy that speaks against, uh, the, speaks the truth and stands against oppression and, and, and stands, uh, uh, takes a firm stance. Or the guy that's praying in the front line and always saying hadiths and that, but he's a little, he's a coward, he's a fake, he's a snake. Who, who, who's real? This is, the, this is what's happening today. You were seeing so many 
people that we thought were the worst people in the world coming out and taking a stance and then people that's meant to be the best people hiding like rats. So who's real like at the end of the day? Like this is what was the early days of Modin like? Obviously Mo, what you are today yeah. wasn't always like that. How did you start and what made you the way you are today in terms yeah, of your personality, in terms of your views because they all are very strong, you know? Yeah, because when I see I think in it, I think a lot. So when you think you this is what God wants you to do. Those people that don't think, they're dumb. Those people that they're just dumb, bro. No one wants to be with a dumb person. They just you have to think. That's why God like he always talks about don't they think in the Quran uh, don't, he always says why well, are all these stories in the Quran so for you to think so everything I see I used to think why is this happening why is this I used to ask my dad when I was in the car taking me to uh, to Arabic school uh, why, why is there who said there's a God I asked him like a thousand times mm. then when he convinced me that's when I became a believer I, I have to ask why are we here who said there's a God what if there's no God what if this what if that I kept on asking till he, he taught my dad taught me this like yeah. to, you know what I'm saying? To believe in God, that's and, the most important thing. And how's your relationship with your family? Like, did you grow up with your family? Are you still close to them? Bro, I'll be real with you. Like the family is very dangerous. Like if you, like for example, do one little mistake here yeah, and then you're finished, bro. If you, if you just like, you raise your voice at your mom or your dad and, and you just, I, I, I'm not going to lie, you're very good to your mom. That's very good because those that are good to their mom, they get blessed so much. Like even Pharaoh, when Moses was making dua to destroy Pharaoh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, you don't understand how good Pharaoh is to his mom. Like, I'm not going to destroy him right now. Do you understand? Like, yeah. this guy is so good to his mom. Like, And there's a lot of people, like I can say so many names right now, like, you know them as well. They're so good to their mom, they're so blessed. They've gone to places that no one can get to. Yeah, and people 100%. wish to get to that place because they've been good to their moms. And, and like, you're probably one of example you've always good to your mom and that so you've yeah. got to a good place like where well, you know yeah. family family first, Wait, are, are you close to your family as well well I'll be honest with you yeah the devil is so wants to drop you he wants to take you out like me I, I try and stay away I stay like not stay away but I try and give them space because I might do something say something wrong or annoy them do you understand because some families are different they might be like oh we don't want you in the house mm. there's some families now nah, we want you in the house yeah. everyone's different some yeah. people some women want to sleep by themselves for example mm. they, they don't want to sleep with their man but they're still married but they'll be like go to the next room fair enough you understand so uh, some families will be like the more you fought further away the more happier we're going to be if you understand so, what I'm so saying so getting on to that like are they kind of like against what you do right now yeah because they're going to see girls they, because they because what does they, they did from a different time they've come from a different time space they've yeah, come from the 60s enough. whatever they're going to see this they're going to see they don't know what's going on they don't know that's why a lot of parents don't understand their children that's why there's a lot of madness going on right now like with the children and the parents because no one understands each other like the parents are thinking this is the olden days like, oh so with, your family like really religious yeah, yeah, yeah not really just, but cultural like, they, they don't you, understand what you're you know the horse do. on the carriage and that back in the days when there's no electricity <laughs> candles and that yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, the tents and that yeah this. but do you still talk to them ever or yeah like, yeah just... I speak to them but mostly when I go next to them I'm like just saying so many hadiths putting on lectures didn't, and they're like no you're driving us crazy get just get out like oh no because I'm putting the lectures putting hadiths 24-7 I'm saying this, this you feel this. they misunderstand you in a way because I'm trying to like tell them listen like I want you to get to the best I want you to be the top so don't talk about the dunya because if you they're just talking about this life I'm like this life I don't want to talk about I want to talk about next life I want to do this do this they're like what you're driving us nuts like yeah, fair enough. get yeah. the hell out of here like so I don't want to be like do you know what I'm saying um, listen now obviously I was gonna I was gonna leave this later in the interview but since you talked about like people not speaking up right now there's a situation in Israel and Palestine yeah is this something uh, that you've talked about already listen yeah let me tell you something what's your stance on listen, the whole listen this has been happening for 70 years yeah <clears throat> yeah no matter who is oppressed in the world if it's a Jewish Muslim Christian if I see someone getting oppressed and I don't speak out God's going to punish me. Look, there's a story in the time of the children of Israel, Beni Israel, there was a very religious man and he, the children next to him, while he was praying, there was children getting a, a rooster and they're pulling its feathers, torturing it. So he was, he carried on praying and he yeah. never, uh, Imam, Imam Sadiq narrates this story. So uh, he never stopped the children from torturing the rooster. Oh. So he kept on praying. So what God did, he, that means he opened the ground and the ground sucked him down to the bottom like an earthquake and it took him just for punishment for not helping the rooster. So if I see um, oppression in India, um, uh, Japan, wherever in the world, uh, 
anywhere, anywhere. If, if someone next to me is getting oppressed, yeah, like someone's getting robbed right next to me, a woman, and I don't do nothing, God's going to curse me and punish me. Fair enough. So if there's oppression anywhere, you have to speak out. Yeah. Wherever it is, on any side, on both sides, if, if any innocent person is not allowed to be killed, any innocent person. So if you see all these... Like all these people that sh like sh should say stop this, like and and the best form of action to, towards God is speaking the truth. The best action I've read the hadith today from Imam, from the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He said, the best action ever is to enjoy good and forbid evil. That's the best action, and better than that is to go in front of a leader or a powerful uh, um, evil leader and tell him to fear God and stop doing what he's doing. Okay. So if you do that. This is the best action to, to, to go in front of a dictator or, a, you know, someone like Hitler or something or yeah. Saddam or some of these dictators and tell them what you're doing is wrong. You're killing people. This is wrong. You have to stop fear God and stop this. Yeah. Then if, if they do that, if you do that, this is the best. So speak out to, uh, against oppression. And also, why is this happening today? You, you need to ask, why is this happening? Because uh, the Holy Prophet said this is going to happen because he said this in a hadith. He said, uh, if you do not enjoin good and forbid evil, I will. God will put evil people to control you and to smash you down. And you will keep praying. All your good religious people will keep praying and they will not be answered because you're not enjoining good and forbidding evil. For example, this is a punishment to all of us in the yeah. world. And some people, they was like, oh, um, we just just say that enjoining good, forbidding evil. For example, someone's drinking alcohol. For example, you say, hey, bro, stop drinking alcohol. Yeah. And the guy's like, okay, cool. And then the next day you're chilling with him, but you're eating with him, you're drinking with him. For example, yeah. even though I'm not trying to judge people that drink alcohol, yeah. there's people that drink alcohol, I'm not going to lie, their heart is cleaner. Some people, and I said, oh, then the people that's praying in the front line in the mosque and you, they've memorized the whole Quran, like the Khawarij, they, they used to, they used to, they're the worst pe people, the, the dogs of hell. But these guys have memorized the Quran. They've got their black spot on their head from how much they pray. Do you understand? Yeah. There's some people that you'll see in the front line, but there's seen some people who's got, he drinks alcohol, but his heart is pure, but his actions might be bad. The yeah. other guy, his actions are good, but his heart is dirty, like a dirty, filthy rat. Yeah. So what does God love more? Actions or the heart? God loves the heart because God puts you in hell forever according to your belief, not according to your actions. Correct. So you're going to be in hell for eternity, not according to your actions, according but, to what you believe in. Actually, I want to, you, yeah. good you mentioned that. Um, so specifically about this Israel Palestine situation, and I'm going to get back to this. Um, obviously, it's a sad situation, you know? There's yeah. kids dying. No one wants to see it. Of course, it's sad. Correct. But also some people's intentions with the whole situation is not good. And especially in social media, like you were saying, it's great to raise awareness, you know? But I feel like a lot of people... Um, they're, they're treating they're, it like a trend. They're treating it like a trend. And Look, secondly, yeah. they do it in like a hateful way. So like, as in, I know it's it's great to tell others to speak up. and But like, a lot of the times it's like, they'll villainize someone, but that person might be behind the scenes doing their best to actually help as well, you know? Yeah. Um, in another way. Okay. Uh, and yeah. I know we saw that like with, I don't know, Mo Salah, if you saw. Like, yeah. before he posted, he was getting slaughtered and i yeah. know he even donated before he even yeah. posted yeah so so what's your take on that because i felt like a lot of people especially like some people that i know behind the scenes obviously it's 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 sad to see the reality that some people that you know don't even care about the situation but, they're posting but the about second it. they they see a few likes and stuff they're posting trendy videos about it and doing reels and stuff but they don't care to okay. even help let me um, answer that question and they haven't donated a cent to palestine but it's all over their social media okay look what you've just said, yeah, I'll answer you that, yeah. Look, we have to judge people by the apparent. So just say a guy says, I'm Muslim. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, but he's done it to enter Islam so he can get benefits. For example, just like it happened in the time of the Prophet, yeah. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, when he was, people came just to, it says in the Quran, they came to Islam just to take stuff and to, to, to destroy it from within. For example, yeah. but if someone says to you, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, that's it, he's a Muslim. You have to take him on what he's oh, yeah. said. So if someone, like, we don't, we can't, even though you can't judge, we don't know what's in his heart, only Allah yeah. knows. So if someone is posting for, for a, a people being oppressed, first of all, that's a good thing, even though we don't know their intention for what. Yeah. But so we're not, we, we can't really, we can't, we can't really, judge yeah, but we just look on the outside. They're, they're doing a good thing. They're posting for the 
uh, for, for, for oppressed people and that's good in front of the eyes of God. We don't know why they're doing it because there's a lot of people that do things. For example, someone gives a million pounds to charity but he does it for the camera, for example. For or example. he does it for tax purposes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, for no. example, yeah, so it's the same thing kind of. So like, if you, God knows his intention because on the day of judgment, God will be like, listen, you've done it for the people. Get your reward from the people. You're not, you're not getting it from me. So yeah. it's all about intention. That's why God doesn't look at how you look. He looks at your heart and your intentions. Yeah. Obviously, last thing, and I, I, I don't want to push this topic. Um, I just want to get your take on the situation. Do you think uh, what's what's going to happen with it? Obviously, Palestine, Israel is a sad situation. Yeah. And it's getting worse by the yeah, day. The, the kids in Palestine are right. dying. It's 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 sad. Do you think there is a solution? Uh, and, and what's your take? Do you have any specific takes on it, or yeah. you don't like to discuss nah, it? But listen, at the end of the day, if you want victory, yeah, you can't be pick, picking up pictures of Saddam, yeah, who's a who's a, who's killed millions of people. Saddam Hussein, yeah, and then say, yeah, yeah please help us, Saddam. You were the best. We wish you was here. How is God gonna make you victorious if you're if you're asking for a, someone that's worse than Hitler, True. who's killed more people than Hitler, yeah, Saddam, for example? And then obviously, I've got family that love him. I've got half of my family love him, half of them hate him. Do you understand? I got family that members that were praying for him after he died. But obviously, I, t I always tell them when I went when uh, Iraq, I said, this you lot are crazy, and I told them, I said, how can you love this guy? And you're right. I'm like, how, how, what, what are you talking about? How are you saying? So if you're going to pick up, like, in, they're picking up pictures of Saddam right now uh, in Jordan or wherever. Oh, we wish you was here. We wish you, what are you talking about, bro? What are you doing, bro? Because at the end of the day, what the Holy Prophet Muhammad said, you will never be victorious if you do not follow. This is what, this is what I've read, isn't it? If you, do, if you want to be victorious, you have to follow the rightly guided from my household, from my family. If you follow these people, you will get victory. This is another thing, but I'm not going to go into that. But I'm just saying this is what I read today in the morning. Yeah. And that's, I don't know how that came to my, in front of my phone. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that right now trending song uh, on TikTok is Salam Allah al Mahdi. The Salam to the Mahdi. Everyone yeah. is posting. They got like billions of uh, of views. Yeah, what is that? Uh, it's like the guy who's crying and he's going Salam Ya Mahdi. Have you seen it? Nah. I don't know. Everyone's seen it. Everyone now is talking about the Mahdi. Okay. Who's the Imam Mahdi? Everyone, every Muslim has to believe in him. If you don't believe in him, then you're not, you're, you're not a Muslim. Because um, someone said to the Holy Prophet, what if someone believes in you and Allah, but he doesn't believe in the Mahdi? Then the, the Holy Prophet, the, um, I think it was Imam Sadiq narrates this, then he says, that's like someone saying, I believe in Allah, but I don't believe in Muhammad. Mm. Sallallahu alayhi wa That's yeah. the same thing. So I believe in Allah, but I don't believe in Muhammad. Am I Muslim? No. So if you believe in Allah and, and, and Prophet Muhammad, but you don't believe in the Mahdi, you're not Muslim either. And this is five from hadith from Sunni sources. Mm. So... No, Imam Mahdi, he's the, he's the daughter, his mother, is who is Imam Mahdi? This is a big, everyone's talking about it. American, the Pentagon are talking about it. The White House is talking about it. The, the, the FB, what's the biggest? Um, uh, CIA? Yeah, they're, they're bigger than the CIA, they're talking about it. Because when they yeah. came to Iraq 2004, they were looking for the Mahdi. Okay. They were saying, we never came here for the oil, we came here to find the Mahdi. And no. this is why all the, the Mahdi is someone who's going to save Palestine, who's going to save the world. And his mother is the, the descent, his mother is, uh, her name is Malika. She is the daughter of the Caesar of Rome. So her dad is the, the king of Rome. She's a Roman empress. And her mother is the descendant of Matthew, the disciple of Jesus. So Imam al-Mahdi, he's, he's half Ro um, like white, for example, and yeah. half Arab from the descendant of Prophet Muhammad. So it's like a mixed race. Now you're saying... Um, in regards to the Palestinians. Yeah, so he's the situation. only one that will help the, the, the Palestinians. No one else can help them. What does the Holy Prophet Muhammad say? Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. He says, go with the oppressed. Whoever's oppressed, be with him. Right. And in this situation... Wh whoever's like... oppressed, ask the whole world who's oppressed. Obviously in this situation, be with that Palestine. person. Yeah. Uh. Children. What does the, uh, the orphans, these children... They, 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 like, you should... Like, if I'm cried so much, yeah? On God's my witness, and, and this is Friday, on the Holy Quran... I've been crying so much, just bursting out of tears when I see the video of these children that's dying from sad. rockets and they're losing their family. Yeah. And then I'm just crying, I'm crying. Allah's seeing my tears. And I'm saying, Ya Allah, like the, the orphans, now they don't have mums and dads. You know, the orphan, yeah. when the orphan cries, the throne of Allah shakes. Mm. The throne shakes when the orphan cries. And Allah says to the angels, Who made this orphan cry? And the angels, and then they then he says, Allah says to the angels, whoever makes this orphan happy. On the day of judgment, I will reward him. Mm. No, look, I think the situation is sad. Like, like now we should be concentrating on the orphans, helping them. True. You know, I'll, I'll tell and you something. all the, the children kids, will be in 100%. heaven. Like all the children, they're in heaven. Like. Yeah, guys, I want to say about the situation, one thing as well, like obviously I think it's great 
um, that everyone's raising awareness. And more so, I, I, I'm trying to figure out a way to help. Like, So there's this guy, I don't know if you've seen him on Instagram. Uh, his name's like Mox, Mostaz, Aziz, uh, Aziz Mostaz. I, I don't know the exact username, but he's there on the ground. And I messaged him. I was like, hey, brother, listen, I just want to know how can we actually help? You're there on ground. Is there like... Is there anything being received? What's what's the charity that you see physically Listen, giving stuff? And he actually replied. He was like, "Hey, brother, look, honestly, nothing has received. been received. Okay. So these kids are starving. You know, like this is this is this is us guys sitting in this podcast are not in charge of this. You know who's in charge of this? You've got the Jordanian border. That's number one. Yeah. And most of the people in Jordanian, a lot of them are Palestinian, by the way. Yeah. You've got the Jordanian border that's closed everything. You've got the Egyptian border that's closed everything. You've got the, S- the Syrian border, border that, I don't know, that's been destroyed by you yeah. know, civil wars and that. And then you've got, uh, I think the Lebanese border, but you can't get through there because there's, it's, so the m- two main borders now are Jordan and, and, and Egypt Egyptian. As well, yeah. So it's yeah. upon the Egyptian government and the Jordanian government right now to make sure that supplies get in. Yeah, because right. we're not we're not governments, bro. But governments Mosaz are Aziza, a guy who's on scene yeah. right now on the Gaza Strip, currently live updates from him on the daily. Yeah, he's he's went out. He's stole more yeah, himself. Yeah, literally, I, I'll show you the deal. Nothing. Like, yeah, because I genuinely, you know, the in. thing is, I was in a situation where like I was like, how can we help? You know, because obviously I saw there's so much awareness, but I was like, how can we actually? This help? is a, this is now we have to go to the Arab governments, like the Egyptian governments and the Jordanian government, saying, what the hell are you lot doing, bro? Why you lot? These guys are governments who have borders with them. Yeah. What are you guys doing, bro? Fear Allah, bro. Like at least these children, like just do you know what I'm saying? Hundred yeah. percent. That's what. That's if you want to like raise your voice, you have to go to Jordanian embassy, Egyptian embassy, and say, bro, what are you doing? Yeah. yeah. That's- and actually, one thing where because that they went to the to the um, protest here in London, and so yeah. here's the thing: I like I always in my own head like fight about this. Like, what's right? What's what's the best thing to do? You know, as a good person, not just as someone that's trying to get attention out of the situation, but like every way you think about it, it's just like, there's no solution. Like, so that day when we went to the protest in London, I would say my friend like, okay, everyone's protesting, but what comes out of it? But he actually made a good point. He was like, actually the good thing is if people, I guess, shut down the roads enough, the government wants to do something just Correct. to get people out of the roads, you know? So, I mean, you never know oh, what's yeah, the situation, that does make sense. you know? As in like, if you keep, Annoying them eventually, but obviously sometimes it still doesn't work. And that is the main road of London where the Anyways, protests. Anyways, I just want to get your last, like, your last opinion or final sentence you want to say about the situation because I want to keep the podcast going, talk about yeah. some other yeah, stuff. Let's get cheerful. What I'm saying is that the end of times are all coming close right now, and this is one of the signs of the end of times, and it's very close, and it's gonna be madness is happening. Around the world. Yeah. Not just in Palestine. There's going to be World War Three. There's going to be millions getting uh, unalived. Millions. And if you This could... is just something what you're seeing now. What's going to come? The World War Three that's coming because this is prophesied in the Bible. This is prophesied in the Hadiths. This is prophesied from the, from the Holy Prophet. He said there will be, before the return of the Mahdi, two thirds of the earth will go. One third will go through the Red Death, which is war. And one third will go through the play, uh, White Death, which could be plague or famine or something. But the war's on, on its way. And so if you had a message to like the kids in Palestine or even people in Israel, what would your message be to either side? Listen, um, whoever, this is my message, yeah. For the, for the, ch- for the, for the children in, in Gaza, yeah. All I'm gonna say is that all those children are in heaven, in heaven. Do you understand? Yeah. Mm. And their parents will probably, cause there's hadiths that say, if you lose a child, or two children or three, you'll be entered heaven as well, just for losing your children. Do you understand? Yeah. So God's going to have mercy on them in this life. This life is temporarily, they're, they're going to, do you understand? When you're oppressed, yeah. you understand? At the same time, my advice for the other side, um, to the Israel, I say, read the stories of the children of Israel that happened before. Do you understand? And how just for, like I said, just for a guy, not not saving the chicken that was getting his feathers pulled out. Yeah. God, Swallowed the swallowed him in the earth, and he was a big scholar in the children of Israel, Bani Israel. So yeah. imagine you're not saving a chicken getting feathers pulled out. You're getting all these. The curse will come upon you for yeah. like if you just just you have to be very careful. You can't you can't one because the first thing, the most hardest thing on the day of judgment is blood. If dealing with blood, like if you've if you've unalived someone, this is the hardest thing. This is what will put you in hell for billions of yeah. years. And so I, just, just and remember I, and, I, that, yeah. and I just want to say one more thing guys obviously we talked about the situation but I genuinely want to say to anyone obviously the situation is sad 
And yes, sometimes in situations there are right and wrong sides, but that doesn't mean everybody from a specific place is a bad person. There's still people that have nothing to do with it. It's just their governments, you know? So that's what I want to say. Because obviously I see a lot of people just spreading direct hate to anyone from this True. specific country, you know? Yes. Just because someone is from Israel or is from Palestine yep. doesn't mean they think a certain way. And I've, I think I've seen tons of videos about even Jewish people saying that, listen, this is, this is yeah, wrong, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, so I also want to say that, guys. Like, obviously we're talking about this, but every human being is their own person, you know? So don't think if there's one bad person or even 10 bad person, that means everyone's bad. Doesn't yeah, no, 100% what are you saying. 100%. Anyways, moving on. I don't want to talk about this anymore, guys. Listen, um, pray for the kids, pray for the innocent people. Oh, Inshallah, everything goes well. And listen, we just want world peace, guys, end of the day. So, world peace. Um, and yeah, anyone watching this, just try to do your best to actually, you know, be good. Because end of the day, I always tell people like about the topic of like, why are people doing it? I always say this, guys, no matter what you're doing, your intentions are with God. Intentions so, matter. Whatever you like, if from the inside, you're trying to do it in a bad way. Okay. Other people might think it's good, but at the end of the day, I always say this, you know, we're going to die. Every single one of us is going to die. So we're not going to deal with others. We're going to deal with God who knows what we were doing things for, you know? Um, anyways, I want to, I want to lighten up the mood, you know, on the lighter note, you know, on a lighter note, what's wrong with you, bro? Nah, I just when you talk about this, uh, <laughs> I have to get sad, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, bro. They they need to fear God, bro. It's, it's crazy. Just fear God. All these superpowers. Fear God. Stop like message to all the superpowers out there because there's so much people involved. It's not just there's yeah. there's a lot of hands involved. There's a like it's not just Israel, bro. There's a lot of hands involved. 100%. So all of you governments, all of you, fear God. Whether you're Arab governments non-Arab governments, Muslim, non-Muslim, whoever you are, fear God and just what, you, look after these children and just stop the 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 un, stop the murders of all these innocent people. Fear God. That's all of, this is a message to all the governments, all the leaders. Fear God, I'm telling you now, fear God because I, the, I in their grave is gonna be so scary. I have a question. If you had a superpower, what would it be? A superpower? Yeah, yeah. like what, any superpower. If you had a superpower, what would your superpower be? I'll be yeah, able to G millions of things in one day or something what oh yeah like just so you just want to go through millions of girls in a day yeah like that's when we my superpower like to have that, all that, that power that, that's haram bro no with that's marriage haram, though man. with marriage with marriage bro you just talked this whole thing you about marry god a million and just, people. yeah I no way he just talked about this whole thing about god no, and now you just want no, to do haram no, behaviors no 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 no, no. I, you asked well, me. everything you just wait, said wait, wait, seems wait. meaningless in heaven, wait in heaven you're gonna have the power of a hundred men so that's when you're cheating power, yeah? Okay. So um, if you're asking me what's my super, what superpower, I don't want to be flying. What am I flying? Am I a bird or something? A pigeon? <laughs> I want to be cheating like thousands of things. The power of cheating. You get? Power like, of cheating? Cheating. Cheating. What's cheating mean? Cheating is uh, clouting. Uh, okay, I'm you don't know what clouting is. No, no, no. You know, running through the girls. You know, piping oh, girls. Okay. Piping, yeah, no, that's that's, that's her arm. I, bro, well, I, I, I'm I, saying, before, I will do marriage first. Like, okay, question. Okay, I have a question. I'll marry them first, obviously. A million girls, though. Yeah, I'll marry a million things, bro. It's but that's her How is it haram? You can't marry a million. Okay, let me explain. Not a million. No, no, I'll explain. Hundred k, you would no, be I, done, bro. You're you talking about asleep. the permanent marriage or the there's two marriages. There's permanent marriage. You're only allowed four. And there's a temporary marriage where it's unlimited. Yeah. So I'm I'm talking about the unlimited one. But uh, surely temporary marriage is not a real thing, is it? Basically, it's a controversial issue. It's a fiqh issue. It's not a, ju it's a, it's a you're, jurisprudence you're, you're issue. Talking, you're talking about the muta marriage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, I'm not going to go into that, but I'm just saying that's what billion, millions of people believe in it. So oh, okay, my bad. It's, a contra it's, it's not a... I, it's, it's just a fiqh issue. Fiqh is yeah. jurisprudence. I have a question now. Yeah. Um, Modin. Yeah. Be serious. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Modin, do you have kids? Yeah. Is this a public thing? Yeah, yeah alhamdulillah. I got a how, how many kids do you have? Bro, at the moment, I wanted to have 100 and I should have had 100. But <laughs> the reason why I don't have 100, first of all, is because in God's hands. Second of all, all the girls that I went with, the, like whatever my life. The thousands. I, no, no. The I, millions. No, no. I never see, saw them as, because uh, this is, when I used to look at them, I used to say, is this kid that I'm going to have with her going to go hell or heaven? I used to think of that. Whoa. So I used to think, because you know, in the, in the, Arab culture the woman's got her tribe she's Muslim the kid's gonna grow up Muslim yeah. and all yeah. that in this western culture the woman takes the kid she's gone you never see your kid you never see the woman adoption all of this madness yeah. you so don't know how to grow the up the kid get but my question is how many kids do you yeah. have? No, no, no right now it's, it's one you have one kid uh, uh, as to my knowledge it's uh, one as, 100% I, oh, do you, have you met your kid? yeah 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 his how, name's Mo as well how old is Mo, he? Mo 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 huh? he's 10, 10 oh okay okay 
Uh, <laughs> but someone said online that you have a daughter. Basically, th- this is what's happened. Yeah, the somebody like you know, it's, it's uh, some of these things. Try to say, oh, that's your you and that. Yeah, but but, but a twelve year old like, daughter. Bro, where's bro? the? Um, no, nah, she'll be like twenty now. <laughs> but I'll be like, bro, where's you the have evidence? A tw- twenty year old. No, daughter. that's what one girl is trying to say. No, but some are you, someone who claimed it was your uncle apparently. Yeah, he's, he's an old guy. He was like, because she went, because I was living. I used to see me bring chicks here, and then she saw him. She's like, where's my man? That's his daughter. <laughs> oh shit! Or something like that. I don't know, but yeah, it's crazy. Okay, now obviously, look, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I have to put you on the spot. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, apparently, you dated a nineteen year old girl. All right, we're, that's legal. Right, wait, wait. First of all, yeah, me and her were friends, yeah, and she's like a famous TikToker. I'm a famous TikToker, so we was doing like content and that. But yeah. did you cheat? But listen, no, I didn't cheat her. And look at Leonardo DiCaprio, bro. He's yeah. like 50 or something, yeah. The guy's got a 19 year old wife. No one's, he's a celebrity red carpet. No one sure. mentions it. So why are they coming for more Dean? And I didn't even cheat, bro. This bro's cheating every day. Yeah. He's getting all the benefits. I get nothing, but hey, and I didn't even cheat, bro. Oh, you didn't yeah. get a hit. I didn't even cheat. But so if I, if, would you? Huh? Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, because me and her are not like that, bro. We're, okay, just, okay. we're just friends, you know, Bridgens. Okay. okay. We're content creators. Um, now, obviously, you don't really tell me about your upbringing, but yeah. were you ever like homeless? Bro, I'm not going to lie yet. When I was in Iraq, yeah, I, I almost... Look, listen, you see this life? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you one thing. I just wanted to say thank you to Queen Elizabeth, who's the Queen of England. She's given a lot of people homes. Yeah. Because she's like, I see her as like the savior of the Muslim people. Because right. a lot of Muslims came here to, from oppression and she saved millions of them True. Through, through God. It was God who saved us, but through Queen Elizabeth. And I wanted to thank her. Oh, and bless. Because, bro, if it wasn't for her, we would have all been homeless, bro. She'd given millions of families, Muslim families, houses and everything. Oh, nice. So she's the. Like I, I just I love her. But were you ever like were you ever homeless in a situation? Well, thank you to Queen Elizabeth. I All wasn't right. not okay. in this country. Hey. Now <laughs> shout out Queen Elizabeth um, again. Yeah. Look, obviously you're like a you're a gangster. Nah, never that. You know, like you wouldn't say that. No, nah, but don't I don't think, think you do have. A lot I think of you gang represent. Oh, I'm I'm I've got the most enemies. I I, I chill with gang members. I chill with that like, D. Yeah. That is I chill with people. Yeah. But I don't. I'm not involved in gangs because the only thing is I'm respected because I don't fear no one. But but oh God, okay. that's why if I don't fear, if you don't fear no one on God except God, they will respect you. But if you fear people, then people don't respect you. True. Okay. Now I wanna I wanna do a little thing. Okay. I'm gonna cut the podcast for a second. We're gonna do an IQ test. Yeah. Trivia. And this is a GCSE IQ test, by the way. Yeah. So I'm a, obviously because I wanna I wanna see how. How, how smart you are yeah. and who I'm dealing with. So yeah. we're gonna we're gonna put you on a GCSE IQ test. Cool. All right. Here's the first question. If I roll a dice, yeah. If I roll a dice 420 times, yeah. how many times will I get the number three? If you roll it 310 times, no, 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 420 times. times. How many times will you get the number three? Yeah. So I'm gonna have to do. Oh, probability. What, do you want like the probability or because this is never known yeah, yeah probability what's the average let's say the probability we have to divide the the dice has got six numbers so you have to divide by six or something okay and okay then, you're going on to something yeah something like that you gotta do that because that's yeah a, what is it what's, what's the it? number what's what's 460 the, divided by no, 420 times divided by six four and anything? Uh, 420 divided by six uh, 420 divided by 10 uh, uh, um Wait, uh, should I use my phone or my <laughs> no, brain? No, no, oh, no. 420 divided by 10 is uh, 42, right? And then 420 divided by 10 is 42, right? So uh, 6 is smaller than 10. So 4 minus 4. four uh, so, uh, so I'll say like roughly like uh, half of 5 is 4. Uh, like 20, 30, like 25. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> twenty five times. No, no. <laughs> How did that you do it? <laughs> he went. No, he did. He got somewhere. I think you're, you're trying, but yeah, no, it's not. What is it close? No. Oh, I'm anyways, not. it's it's it's. Uh, it's uh, I shall tell you. Yeah, it's seventy. Oh, All right. 70. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. We will go to the next question. All you have to do is just one division. Okay. Okay. 70, okay. Yeah. Next question. I need to show you a picture. Okay. What type of triangle is this? Uh, it's a triangle, isn't it? Like what? T- it's a triangle with, with two horns, like a devil. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, leave the leave the lines. The like, Illuminati thing. No, no, it, that's just trying to show that it's like equivalent. But what? T- what's the name of this triangle? What type? Baphomet. Of- <laughs> what? 
What? I He's saw... calling that the shaitan. <laughs> it's got the two things in it, the horns. What, what's the type of triangle? Uh, bro, I'll be real with you. Are you trying to say, is it the pyramid one? Which one? No, that, like, you know where you had, the, they have like terms for triangles. Oh. Equilateral. Psh, that's like a flipping flat bunda. <laughs> <laughs> That's triangle bunda, bro. It's an isosceles triangle. Psh, triangle I, bunda. Isis. It's an Isis triangle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because it's got you, the horns. So I'm going to tell devil. you the next one. Yeah. I'm going to tell you a sentence. You have to tell me what is the verb in this sentence. All right. Okay. Amazingly, he finished the hot dog in 15 seconds. Verbs? Yeah. What's the or verb? herbs? No, verb. What's the <laughs> verb? I don't... <laughs> <laughs> verb, what's a verb? Bruv? It's okay. I'll tell you what a verb is. Yeah. A verb is uh, some a word of action. Okay. All right. So he's. Okay. What did he say? He's cheating the hot dog. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> Something about Ama- hot dog. amazingly, he <laughs> finished the hot dog in fifteen seconds. What's the verb in that sentence? Uh, he, he finished. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's go. Next question. Okay. Yeah. Mo. Wanted to find out what music his class likes. Yeah. So he surveyed 10 guys in his class about what music they like. Yeah. How could Mo improve his survey? Um, he used to tell them, listen, bro, put in the survey, do you know like this is haram music? Do you know that you'll go to hell if you li- molten lead will go in your ear? <laughs> So if he puts that, they're going to get scared. They're not going to listen to music no more. No, no. How could he improve his survey? <laughs> yeah, yeah how could the survey put, be done better? So he, he enjoins good and forbids evil. No, so he, he should ask the 10 girls, girls in his as class well. as well. Well, there's things in the class. <laughs> bro, if there was, wait, if I had the thing right now, bro, right next to me, I'll just do, I'll do a madness. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be playing music. Because okay. when you're putting music and you're cheating a thing, yeah. it distracts you. Okay, I'll next. saw the thing, close the music. I can't even concentrate. I want right. to concentrate on you. Okay, next Why question. Next, you're, you're, you're getting there. Next question. There's six apples yeah. and you take away four. How many apples do you have? You have six apples, you take away four, you two. There's six apples and you take away four. How many yeah. apples do you have? Four. Sorry, yeah. Four. Yeah. All right, listen, you're, you're, you're not bad. All right, it's going to get harder now, all right? So that was GCSE. Now we're cool. going to go to... Gonna step it up. We're going to step it up to some mathematics. All right? Quick math. That's mad. So let's say us three. Yeah. There's, there's three guys. Yeah. They go get a hotel for right. $30. Yeah. And each of them put $10 down. Cool. Now, the manager realizes he overcharged and the hotel room was only $25. Yeah. So he gives the bellboy $5 to come refund us that $5. Now on the way up, the bellboy gets greedy and he keeps $2 and he gives us back each $1. Yeah. So now we all gave $9 towards the hotel, which is $27. Yeah. And the bellboy has $2, which is $29. Where did the $1 go? All right. uh, pass me my bag for a second. No, because I want to... No, I just want to show... Where's your bag? Isn't there? It's Nike one. No, it's over there. I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I think the answer should be... Uh, you have the answer? Yeah, one second. Yeah, I feel like he's going to no, pull no, out no. a gun. Hey, listen. <laughs> I can't lie. You lot are 30. What do you mean? You're leaving? Oh, you're confusing me, innit? I, my brain cannot take this, innit? Yeah. I'm going to say it, innit? You're leaving? Ah, uh, cool, cool. I'll stay, I'll stay. But no, I'll like, stay, stay. We I love you, bro. Buddy. I feel like I'm in school, bro. You know, when I was in school, I start going nuts. I can't handle this college questions and university questions. All right, all right. He lost me with the bellboy thing, even. I can't lie. Bellboy, listen, let me tell you something. Yeah. If I, if I, all of these things are bare jarring, bruv, chat to me about things, chat to okay. me about. I, I'm sorry, I apologize. My yeah. bad, Modi. I apologize. I said, we love you, Modi. Bro, it's not, and I love you yeah. lot, but bro, you're taking man back to like school days and college and that. But I didn't really go to college, but school, innit? Same, I oh, yeah, yeah. You, you take off your back because I don't want to be uncomfortable. Okay, I'll, I'll, I won't ask you any more stupid nah, questions. No, because I feel like I'm in school, so no, I have no, to have I'm my bag on. I'm not ask you any more stupid <laughs> questions. <laughs> my school bag. Right, I'm not going to ask you stupid <laughs> questions. All right, no, actually, talking yeah. about but it. What'd you do, bro? Like, why'd you do? Like, Okay, talking about it, what's your type? Bro, I'll be real with you. My type changes because look, if you've got, who's that? Is that marketing? Yeah. My type changes because if you've got um, a very high testosterone, I'm going to like, uh, for example, if it's crazy high testosterone, I was like dark skinned woman. Mm. As soon as my testosterone started going down, it became less light skin. When it got down a bit more, my skin color. Occasion. Yeah. Like, what's it? Arab color. 
Yeah. Okay. So now I'm on the Arab because it goes up and down. So if it goes back up again, it's going to go to black. And if it goes down, that skin go down a bit more, Arab. Damn. That's what happens. So right now it's Arab. It's, now it's Arab. Are you looking to get married or like... And by the way, how many times have you got muta married? Bro, I'll be real with you. Like, um, I'm not going to lie to you yet. Obviously, I love women so much. And there's no one in the, in the world that loves women more than I love women. Because women, like, there's a hadith that says, the more faith you have, the more your love for women increases. Yeah. So the more the faith you have, this is from Imam Sadiq, the more faith you have, the more you love for him. So I've got so much faith in God. I love women so much. Fantastic. That's why I'm just like, I'm like, I'm like electric, electric shock. Do you, do you like fat girls? Uh, basically, I like the ones with the, have a belly like mine. Oh. Really? Yeah, like this flabby. So that's your type? <laughs> I don't mind. I love that flabby here. Nice. The flab, like, have you seen this? Like that. But what's your game with girls? How do you how do you pick yeah, up? Yeah, what's a like girl? a what's a Modine pickup line? Yeah, for those watching, how what's Riz? What's the Babe, best back way? Back in the days, yeah, I would be so soft. Like, excuse me, like what you say? Oh, sorry, can I just? Oh, yeah. I'll be the nicest, softest person in the world. Yeah, um, that's why I used to draw bare things. Now, like you have to be so soft. Like, this is like the softest ever. True. Now uh, times have changed and that. So right now it's like. I don't even need to chirps, bro. Girls are coming to me, bro. Like, like, like imagine, imagine they're like, like, oh, you're Modine, can we take a picture on that? Imagine if there was a girl right there, like, how would you, like, approach her if you had to? Bro, I'll be like, listen, I don't want to get in no sins yet. Are you trying to do this marriage contract? If she does the marriage contract, then I'll start dropping proper game and that. But oh, I'll nice. try to convince her to do the contract because it's a verbal contract. If she does it, then she becomes halal. If she becomes halal, then I can do all the... Like I don't want to do haram and that So okay. I'll, I'll convince right. her to sign to, to say the contract Final so, thing I want to talk about Obviously This is literally my final question Alright Obviously since I came here to UK I realised this whole like um, There's a lot of like Pride stuff out here Yeah, yeah. The LGBT LGBTQ Da 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 What's your take Like no, Listen I, I don't really I don't know what to say Like what's yeah. your take on listen, it But the prophet, are you Alright The prophet Lot Was the cousin of prophet Abraham Who's the father of all prophets He was sent and he to a place called Sodom, which is in the Bible, which is in Jordan right now. Yep. If you go to Jordan, they are the, I think the Jordan people are the descendants of these people, or I'm not sure, because they're the places in Jordan right now. So Prophet Lot went to these people, Lot, and he said, yeah, he said to them, listen, bro, you lot stop cheating my guests, in it? Because every time he has a guest that's Leng, they come and cheat him. <laughs> okay. So... His wife, Prophet Lot's wife, was from the people of Sodom. Pro okay. Prophet Lot was not from the, that people. He was from Abraham's people. But they were still his people. Oh, yeah. No, because he married a woman from them. Okay. He started living with them. I have a question, Momo. Quick one. Just a quick yeah. question. How many genders are there? Wait, wait. Uh, no, no. I'm going to explain quickly. And oh, yeah, I'll yeah. tell you. So, when, uh, so he, they kept on cheating people that come to the area. So, because um, the devil taught them this, how to do it, he taught. Yeah. He came as a beautiful boy, and then he started things in another bread. So they saw that the devil was doing it, then they learned how to do it. So they started oh. things in chat, and the woman started doing the same thing. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. I really don't know what you're saying. So basically, he's. I saying, really don't understand because you keep saying so cheating and stuff. Sodomy be began from a place called what? So Sodom, Sodom. Uh, locked yeah. in, in, in Jordan. So he's a prophet. This is a whole pro okay, story. Okay. So then, what the the final thing is quickly, I'll say, the the the, the angels, Michael, Jibrail. Israfil, they're the biggest angels. They came in the form of beautiful men. They came to his house. So his wife went upstairs. She put a fire up. She was like, yes. When she puts a fire, that means some he's got guests come and jeet them. Yeah. Come bang them, basically. So the angels, uh, Prophet Lot said, oh, are you guys crazy? Come here. They're going to get banged. Be careful. And then the angel said, don't worry. We're angels. We're sent by God. No one's going to touch you. Then they surrounded the house, like thousands of them. They told Lot, bring your guests outside. We want to jeet them. You know we're here. So Lot said, listen, my the woman... The women are better for you. Stop cheating, Brez. Uh, it's, 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 not, it's not right, yeah? Yeah. So then... Um, so this is like basically something gay was going this on. Is this is in the yeah. Quran and in the, in the okay, Bible. Okay. So uh, in old times, basically, when there was beautiful men, they saw the devil doing wrong and apparently that's what he's okay. trying to convey, yeah. And then, and then when they attacked the, 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 the house... The, the, the angels told the prophet Lot run away take but your but in this time what do you think like, right yeah now, but okay, this yeah. is what the angel Gabriel did though the angel Gabriel with one of his feathers yeah. he picked up the whole area he put his feather under the whole area lifted it up to the sky flipped it over and smashed it until it became fossil fuel now we got diesel PP uh, PP fossil petrol is from this from the from the 
profit lots of people. It should be a lot petrol because they became fossils. Yeah. They're under the ground. So the gay people became fossils. Yeah, in the time of Prophet Lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So well, bro, I still see them on the street now. It's petrol, they become petroleum. So now what you have to say to any Christian or Muslim yeah. is just take out the Bible or the Quran and then le- let them read the story. Because I'm not right. trying to get the angel Gabriel to f- make me into a fossil fuel, bro. Yeah. True. I'm just that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to get away from all that. Or, but for you, for Modin, how many genders exist? Yeah. Bro, I can't lie. The genders. Yeah. Well, basically, there's Adam and Eve in it. Unless you want to put Steve, who, nah, which nah, looks nah. like an Eve, then it will be called be, be called uh, so, Dave. So Dave. what are the genders? Dave, 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 male, Dave. male, female. Yeah. And Adam and Eve, and there's Steve that looks like Eve. No, but in my opinion, I believe there's two genders, and yeah, the course. third is a mental illness. No, I, I don't know. The third one is uh, basically is a mad thing because. <laughs> The end of time. What does the end of time say? The, in the the Holy Prophet yeah. said, the end of times will not come unless the men start going with men and women start going with women. So yeah. whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, this is what's going to happen. Do you understand? So yeah. whether you like it or not, this is going to happen True. because it's been prophesized. True. So wait, say that again. I didn't understand that. Whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, men are going to go with men, and women are going to go with women. They're going to become together, and this is going to happen. For the day of judgment to happen, if this it's doesn't happen, already it's all happening already. It's happening, but this us. is nothing. It's going to get. You see, this is going to become a million times worse. You're going to be walking in the street. You got a padlock on your bum cheeks, mate. That's what's going to happen soon. You know what padlock is, isn't it? Yeah. You're yeah. going to have to buy a lock because if they catch you, they'll do their thing, isn't it? That's what's going to happen soon. I swear to. You. I so, know. I agree. So are you trying to say you support LGBTQ? I never said that. I, I said this is this is prophesized. This okay. is a prophecy that yeah. is in the in the in the, the hadiths. But do you condemn? A quick one. Quick one. Ask anything that God condemns, I condemn. Quick I one. Do you, do you, and I'm not trying to say this to take the piss, but do you, do you have a mental illness? Me, I'm, bro. You know what? Because you said that. I'm cutting, bro. No, 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 no I, I genuinely no, bro. I, what do you mean, bro? Man's been talking gems. No, I've I, been talking diamonds, bro. I've been telling you about life, yeah. about the world, no, we about. We just want to know. We just want to know if you. No, because I feel like people just think that you have something yeah. wrong with you. They really no, don't no, think no, that. Like, okay. I'll be real with you, yeah. You see these people? Uh, they on my TikTok. They on my thing. I just duck them. The haters, bro. I'm a real G. Like, listen, my Ross Clark, Bamba Clark, Yard Man from Long Time, Kingston Boy. I'm gonna play games. No, I'm cutting, bro. Yeah, are you? Bro, you need to pipe down in it before everyone gets smoked. No, it's fine, bro. bro, Are you actually leaving? That was a good guy. Are you actually leaving? Bro, you man, I'm even booky, bro. What do you mean mental, bro? You want me to start getting. You want me to start becoming mental right now? No, no, I, I, I didn't buy that. I can't start becoming mental. Nah, you don't. You don't. don't. Start dashing things in the air. Nah, nah, Modine, we want you to stay. Bro, you know what? You're lucky, man's in a good mood today. Alright, my bad. I swear down, bro. You lucky man don't come and clout all of you right now. Bumba clout. Did he actually leave? I thought he was taking. I, I, I thought he was, was joking. So anyways, that's been the podcast. Um, I'm, I'm a, I, I don't. I, Congrats, I, Mo. You've had your first workout. Yeah, that's appreciate. my first episode and I, my first workout. I didn't know. I thought we were just messing around, you know. All right, anyways, guys, that's been the podcast. Right, um. Did he actually? I don't know. I'm still figuring out if he know. left we're or gonna, not. We're gonna go All right, guys. Subscribe, like, share the podcast. If you guys want to see part two, I'll see you guys later.